Hello, hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hey, what's going on, Antonio? How are you? Uh, I'm sorry to miss two class. Why? What happened? Uh, because I need to solve and solve some problem with my family. Ah, okay. All right. That sounds very good. Did you were you able to solve all the problems with your family? Yep. Mm -hmm. It was solvent. <laughs> no, you say resolved. Resolved. Ah, resolved. Resolve. Okay. I had to resolve some problems with my ha family. I resolve. Resolve. had to solve. I had to solve some problems with my family. Okay, cool. Uh, hello, Diana. Hello, Diana. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm oh, fine, teacher. And you? <laughs> All right. That's excellent. I'm very good. I'm excellent. I feel good. <laughs> Hi, Nubia. How are you? I'm very fine. Excellent. I like that. I like to hear that. Is everybody ready for your class? Yes, teacher. Ready. Yes, teacher. Okay. Awesome. So uh, in yesterday's class, we were practicing uh, describing people. We finished this listening activity. Uh, number one was good looking, pretty tall, mustache, red hair, uh, curly, pretty tall, long blonde hair, uh, fairly short, heavy, very tall, slim. All right, any questions from this activity? No. Okay, so we're going to move forward and we're going to be look, reviewing the participle and prepositions. In this session, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. En esta clase, escucharán un diálogo entre dos personas los cuales usan modificadores con capacitación. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Uh, modifiers with participles and prepositions. En esta clase, escucharán un diálogo entre dos personas, los cuales usan modificadores con participios y preposiciones. Which one is she? Okay. We did this yesterday. Esto lo hicimos ayer. Este solamente es un pequeño repaso, okay? Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, we're going to repeat it one more time. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. 
All right, so we practiced this conversation yesterday. Today, we're going to be moving forward, uh, section 4.11, lesson objective. In this session, we will learn to use modifiers with participles and prepositions. En esta clase, aprenderemos cómo usar modificadores con participios y prepositions. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, what is your question? En la parte donde dice, she can't make it. ¿Cómo se traduciría? Uh, she couldn't make it, no pudo venir. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, no you will listen to a conversation where two people she use modifiers make it. with participles mm -hmm. and prepositions. Mm -hmm. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Okay, so this one, usted dice, donde dice... They say Raul, oh, she can't make it, make it. Ah, okay, ajá, porque le dice, hola, Raul, gusto, gusto de verte, ¿a dónde está Maggie? Oh, ella no pudo venir, ella fue a un concierto con Alex. Sí, solo la, la pregunta era porque, como dice, make it, se puede utilizar make en lugar de eh, Ajá. Home o algo así. Sí, en este contexto eh, ya está hablando de que no pudo ella llegar. She couldn't make it. Ok, thank you. Ajá, como diferente contexto tiene diferente eh, significado. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Ok, so in this section, uh, we finished this yesterday. So today we're going to look at this section over here, grammar explanation. Here we're going to see the grammar. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use... Okay, guys. So I want everybody to pay attention. We use the participles and prepositions, for example, one the one, um, tall one, the ones, right? And the prepositions with short black hair, in jeans, next to the window, on the couch. So this is the preposition right here with the participles. And I want you to notice that some of the participles start with a gerund, wearing, talking. Do you understand? Any questions? Questions, questions at this moment? Okay. Es como cuando tú dices eh, en español, por ejemplo, le voy a dar un español para que entendamos el concepto. Eh, ese es el hombre que alquiló la casa. O eh, el hombre que está vistiendo jeans azules. The man wearing jeans. O the man in jeans. Right, it's very similar. Ese es el perro que mordió la niña. That's the dog that bit the girl. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to practice real quick. We're going to repeat the video. Vamos a repetir. 
Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raoul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raoul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. <clears throat> Any questions at this moment? No, teacher. A question at this moment? Somebody? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to write three examples. Here, for example, who's Anna? She's the woman wearing a pink sweater. ¿Quién es Anna? Ella es la mujer vistiendo una blusa rosada. Which one is Anna? ¿Cuál de todas es Anna? She's the one drinking coffee. Ella es la que está tomando café. Who's Michael? ¿Quién es Miguel? He's the man with red eyes. Él es el hombre con ojos rojos. Which one is Rian? ¿Cuál de todos es Rian? He's the short one with glasses. Él es el bajo con lentes. So you're going to give me five examples in the discussion forum. Five examples in the discussion forum. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Hello, Ingman. Hello. Where is the number for the two? <laughs> ¿Qué lección será? Es la 4.11. Así lo entendí. Ok. Entonces... No, es la 4.12. Who 
Who is saying them? She was Dalama. Yes. <laughs> With the with the losses, the losses. Which one is? One. one. He is the one talking to Luis. Yes. The one. <clears throat> Sing and pongamos. Cantando. Oh, waiting. Waiting. Uh, talking to Luis, hablando con Lisa. Pongamos drinking, drinking coffee. Give me an example in this. Hello. Ah, perdón, tenía apagado el micrófono. Who's? Uh, Michael. Michael. Uh huh. He's the man. He's the man. Talking. <sighs> oh, got it. To Carlos. And on there? Who are the who are? Who are? Who are? Who are? Who are? Who are? 
Espinosa. Ok. Ok. Bye. All right, let me have two volunteers, two volunteers, two volunteers, two volunteers. Can I have two volunteers, please? Volunteer number one. Volunteer number one. Me. Okay, go ahead. Um, Kathy Sines. Who is Enna? She's the woman with the glasses. Continue. Uh, who, which one is Juan? He's the one drinking coffee. Who is Michael? He's the man talking to Carlos. Perfect. Excellent, Kati. Very good. Another volunteer, George. Okay. Who is Maria? She's wearing red red dress near to the window. Which is Maria? She's the short one talking on the phone. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. One more volunteer. Very good. Antonio, another volunteer. Oh, Luis Hernan. <laughs> okay. Which one is Luis? He's the one sleeping on the bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who, who's Luis? Is the man wearing a yellow sweater. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Um, does anybody have any questions referring to this information? Hi, Kathy Sines. How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> does anybody else have another question related to this topic? No necesariamente se va a utilizar un, un verbo ING. Correct. No necesariamente. Puede ser in... Da puede cambiar a una preposition with, in front of. Puede Pero cambiar. Básicamente sirve para, para, de, para describir. Para describir o identificar lo que está viendo. Ok. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ok, let's go with the next topic. Knowledge check. Instructions. Choose the sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions correctly. Instrucciones. Lea las oraciones y escoja la oración que usa modificadores con participios o preposiciones de forma correcta. You will have five minutes to work in pairs. Any questions? Ready? Let's go. Sí, así también. No. Bueno, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es que leer. Como leerlas con las respuestas para practicar el, el este, nuestro speaking. Vale. Uh -huh. Bien. Sí, bueno, aquí tendríamos, nos daban la oración en de so, creo que que elijamos la correcta, cuál estaba escrita correctamente, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Va, entonces este, vamos a leer la que hemos elegido como correcta. Ah, vaya. Ajá, sí. Vaya, si quieren... Hola, hola, compañeros, perdón. 
Hola. ¿Qué, número, ¿Qué número es el, 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 el que vamos a, a desarrollar? El 4.13. 4.13. Uh -huh. Sección 4, 4.13. Ok. Uh -huh. Estoy viendo la parte del examen, pero como ya lo tenemos, lo vamos a repasar. Uh -huh. Solo por si tenemos alguna duda. Bueno. El vocabulario. Ajá. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya. Ya, ya lo tengo. Uh -huh. Ya. Uh -huh. Vaya, ¿qué inicia? Yo tercera. Oh. Entre <ríe> Is the tall guy wearing a boring dull shirt and Yorgos pants? Okay. But Adam and Laos are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Number three. Mm -hmm. Line uh, is the young, la correcta o la incorrecta? La correcta. La correcta. Line uh -huh. is the young, young girl um, in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. La cuatro, Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Anthony. Okay. <clears throat> eh, number five, it's a point, J point. He's a serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. 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 Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ahora empiezo yo. Uh -huh. uh, Clark, Clark is the tall guy wearing a button down. Bottom down. Bottom. It's salsa TV. It's a serious looking boy listening to the speaking of salsa. The serious looking boy listens. Listening the primera. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Si quieres las practicamos en el tiempo que tenemos. Yeah. ¿no? Estoy invadiendo. Y de momento me toca. De momento me toca. Ok. Sorry, give me a moment. Okay. Me, me vino a visitar, entonces. Es como que. Ok, vamos. Uh, Car is the, the tall, tall guy. guy. Uh, he is wearing a board down shirt and cargo pants. No sé cómo se dice cargo. 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 Uh. <risa> Ajá, porque dice la chica es, usa un boron John. No me acuerdo que es boron John. Eh, ok. The next, you. Adam and Luis are the good looking people. They are talking to Tom. Adam and Luis are the good looking people talking to Tom. Ok. The three line is the John Gar. She's in a stripped, stripped, I don't know. T shirt and blue jeans. Line is the John Gar in a stripped t shirt and blue jeans. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Anthony. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Anthony. Antonio. A G 
is the serious looking boy. He has listened to his new salsa TV. AG is the serious looking boy. Listen to his new salsa TV. Y ahora también. Okay. Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a wooden long shirt and cargo pants. Clark is the tall guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Adam and Luis are the cute looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Adam and, Adam and Luis are the cute looking, good looking couple talking to Tom. Lainey is the young girl just in the type of t-shirt and, and blue jeans. Line is the young girl in a type of t-shirt and blue jeans. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's staring to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman staring to the left of Antonio. Angie is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa CD. AG is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. Quiero ver la, la diferencia de cómo nos la va y cómo la va a escribir. Porque no le veo mucha. O sea, yo así lo dejara, no le cambiara nada. Uh -huh. Bye. All right, does anybody have any questions referring to this activity? Yes. Okay, what is your question? All right, can I have number one, volunteer number one? Clark is the tall guy, Clark is the tall guy. Number one. Number one. Mm -hmm. Cargo punks. Okay, can somebody Clark. read can somebody read the complete sentence? Clark oh. is the tall guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Very good. What is cargo pants, teacher? Uh, cargo pants uh, son los pantalones que tienen como bolsas grandes. Mm. Como los militares que tienen unas bolsas grandotas. Cargo. Es un nombre específico esos pantalones, no me acuerdo. Sí, que tienen unas grandes, aquí tienen una bolsa Comandos grande. le llaman. Ah, ok, ah, pues en inglés son cargo <laughs> pants. Cargo pants. Okay, uh -huh. Comando. Uh -huh. That's right, commando, that's right, commando. All right, number <laughs> And then new words. <laughs> new word, Spanish. new word for Mr. Santos. <laughs> ok, number two, let me have a volunteer for number two. Me, teacher. Ok, go ahead. Adam and Lois are the good-looking couple they talking to Tom. All right. Adam and Lois are the good-looking couple talking couple. to Tom. Couple. Pareja. Couple. That's right. Adam and Lois are the good-looking. Uh -huh. Excellent. Number three, select somebody. Antonio, number three. Uh, lying is the young girl in a stripper t-shirt, blue jeans. A stripper, no, striped. 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 Uh -huh. Stripper, no, striped. 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 Uh, striped. So we say Lynn is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Very good. And what is the striped. meaning of striped? Rayada, striped. Ah, right. Okay. Number four, Dina Contreras. Number four. Number four, Vladimir. Me, teacher. Sorry. Oh, number four, Dina. Uh, and Jane is 
Is the serious looking boy listening? To no, his... no, no, no. Number four. Number four. Number uh, sorry, four. Sorry, sorry. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. All right, Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Excellent. That is correct. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. And number five. Volunteer number five. Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. AJ is a serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa CD. Excellent. AJ is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. And ding, ding, ding. Any questions? No questions. Question. All right. All right. Excellent. Applause for everybody. Good participation. Good work. Now we have completed section four. All right. Good work, everybody. We are finished with section four. Now we are going to move forward and look at section five. At this moment, does anybody have any questions uh, about section four? Questions? Okay. All right. Now we are going to look at section five. In this session, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. En esta clase aprenderemos sobre el presente perfecto. El presente perfecto se pone en práctica durante la conversación. Listen, please. A visit to New Orleans. Ten. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right. I would like for you to listen and well, repeat. It's great to see you, Todd. It's great, it's great, great, to, great to, to see, see you, you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have, Have you, been you been in New Orleans long? long? Just a few days. Just, Just a, a few, few days. days. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to be here. To be here. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Yeah, yeah, I already, already, already well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, how about a riverboat tour? How about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. 
Have you ridden in a streetcar? Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, that's how I get here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, you know, I really just want to take it easy. You know, no, you know, you know I really, really want just want, want to take, take it, it easy. easy. My feet are killing me. Killing me. My, My feet, are, feet are, are killing me. All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? Donde dice chow, chow? Chow? Uh, chow, chow you? Oh, show you the city. Te quiero enseñar o demostrar la ciudad. Okay. Show you, enseñártelo. Show you, enseñar. Teacher, what do you mean river boat? River boat, barco en río. Okay. River boat tour, un tour en barco de río. Un bote. Un bote. What is the meaning of streetcar? Streetcar es un carro eh, de calle. Streetcar. Okay. Teacher. Hi. More clear the streetcar. But okay. Carro de calle, o sea, todo de calle, vea. Uh, no. Have you ridden a streetcar? Eh, yo me imagino que son unos como. Coches. Ajá, como unos coches. Eh, así como se puede ver aquí en la foto. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí. Algo así. Un carruaje. Un carruaje. Un carruaje, Un carruaje me imagino. Carruajes. Tiene que ser algo de turismo. Así como acá tenemos uh -huh. el conga bus, ellos ahí tienen el streetcar. Carruaje. Ok, thank you. Ok. All right. We're going to go ahead and practice this conversation in pairs. I want you to practice at least five times and then change roles. Va a practicar cinco veces y después cambian el role. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Practice makes perfect. So the more you practice, the better it is. Okay. Primero usted si quiere. <clears throat> Empiezo. Sí, sí. Okay. It's try to serve you. Todd, have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been <clears throat> to one. Oh, where? How about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Yeah. Have you ridden, ridden in a streetcar? There a lot, lot of, of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Where? Is, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. 
Ok. Ahora, Ahora yo. Uh -huh. It's great to see you todo. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just, just a few days. I am really upset to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I, I have, I have already. I, I, I can. I. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I, I have. I've, I've. I uh -huh. already been to one. Oh, well, know about a, a riverboat tour? Mm, I already down the downtown, down that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There a lot of fun. Actually, that how that how I got here today today. Well, is there anything mm. you want to do? You know, already just uh just to want to take it it easy. My feet are killing me. Mm. It's great to see to how you been in New Orleans long. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to shoot you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh well. How about a river boat a river boat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? There a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Where is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. It's okay. great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really upset to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to, to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I, I have I already been to one. Oh, well. How about a, a riverboat tour? Hmm, I already done, done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I go here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I already just want to, want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <coughs> Otra vez. Sí, comienzo yo. Uh, eh, hoy empezó. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay, dele. Sorry. It's, o oh, oh, usted comenzó la última vez, o oh, yo comencé la última vez. Okay, it's great to see you too. How you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh well, how about a river a river boat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden? I am streetcar. They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? 
you know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Seguimos. Ahora eh, eh, hagámoslo todos juntos. Usted haga uno y yo hago otro. Completo. Uh -huh. ¿Mm? Sí, está bien. ¿Y, ¿Y hay alguna palabra que, que le cueste o para ver si podemos ayudarnos? Sí, eh, donde dice ya, yeah, ahí. Es que es la misma de abajo. La, la Pero misma de abajo. ¿Qué dice? Hay libros. Hay... Okay, let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. Uh, me? Teacher. Me? me, teacher. Okay, Dina and Luis. <laughs> Dina and Luis. Okay. Is there... What happened? Uh, yes, I'm going to put the conversation right now. Okay. Action. Dina, you are Jan. Luis, you are Todd. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I really decided to be here. I can't wait to show you this city. Have you been to just a clue? Yeah. I've been already been to one. Oh, well, oh, well. How about the river, river boat tour? Mm, I be, I really done that too. Have you read there in the streetcar? They are lot of, they, there a lot of fun. Actually, the whole I got here today. Where well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right. Applause for Dina and Louise. Good job, guys. Excellent work. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now you are going to write a similar conversation you're going to write it over here in the discussion forum a similar conversation do you understand no teacher you are going to look at this exercise and you are instead of saying for example have you been to new orleans you can say have you been to San Miguel? Uh, yes. Instead of saying jazz club, you can say salsa club. Teacher, una pregunta. Hi. Eh, cuando decimos I, es como decir I have. That is correct. I've, that is correct. Okay, yes, I have. It's a contraction. Another question about this activity. No. Another question about this activity. Somebody? Question. Any questions? No, teacher. Anybody? Okay. We're going to practice and write the conversation in the discussion. Ready? Let's go. Write the discussion conversation. Write the conversation in the discussion. Ready, let's go. Yes. Vaya, digamos, podemos usar esto mismo como eso de It's a great to see you. Uh -huh. Y nuestros nombres, digamos. Sí. Y ahí cambiar eso de en, en lugar de New Orleans Long, podemos decir que Guayua, <laughs> etc. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Dice que como que si ha, si ha, ha estado, visitado, uh -huh, como que ha visitado, digamos, en ese caso sería Guayua por un largo tiempo o algo así. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
vamos a escribir entonces sería la misma y uh -huh. veamos entonces, podría ser just a uh, only weekend ajá una semana yo ajá uh, 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 ajá o los fines de semana cómo decir ajá weekends yes ajá uh, weekend cierto weekend es verdad weeks sí. es semana uh, weekend uh -huh. Sería yo en el weekend. En um, el weekend. Uh -huh. um, yo sé que está emocionado de estar ahí. Uh -huh. Sería sí. como. I, I prefer the place. Ah. Is, ah. No sé. O podría poner como que en realidad disfrutó estar ahí, porque uh -huh. es que I'm really enjoyed to, yeah, um, really? to be enjoyed. Enjoyed. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. I really enjoy uh -huh. estar ahí. To be here, yeah. To be here. Uh -huh. El otro, um... Entonces, podría ser como I cannot wait to, to come back, como regresar. Yeah. To come back there, <laughs> over there, or, or over uh -huh. again, I'm sorry, over again. Otra vez. Wait. Wait. To come, to back. come back. Uh -huh. to over come again. Back. Over again. Over again. Have you been to. Um, este, vamos a ver este. ¿La, la iglesia o no? Uh, ajá, puede ser. Ajá. Uh, have you been? Uh, a the church. Así, ah, o to the church. At, yo creo que es at. At, ajá. At. At, at, bueno, ¿cómo se escribe iglesia? Short. Church. C-H-U-V-R-A-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
Like. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué se puede hacer ahí? Hey, permítame, vamos a ver. Aquí le podría decir yo como. Como, como de ponernos de acuerdo de un día, digamos. Um, sería, do you agree with me to visit Payua? O sí, no. Uh -huh. Oye, oh, no. Sí. Uh -huh. Las últimas tres, no, no las he visto. No. Sí, es que ahí hay un error. All right, guys, la... time's up, time's up. Please okay. continue working on the platform and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Teacher, teacher. Hi. Eh, fíjese que en la en la en el examen. Hola. Sí. Eh, hay un error en una palabra, por eso a mí me costó bastante hacerlo en el literal T. Okay. De la última parte. Me puede mandar un screenshot en privado. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, teacher, yo se lo mando. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.